Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehra Bagga and let's play some more puzzles today. We'll try to solve as many as possible, provided the time is right. Okay, so I'm starting off with 2033 today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so few things. We are in one step check from here as well uh, with the knight. Queen can also give a check. There's no immediate threat to black side as of now. Uh, the rook is being attacked, but defended with the queen. I think giving a check should be the first move. Uh, which one is more stronger? Uh, and what should be the right way to continue from there? Even if we give a check, uh, opponent has a few moves, uh, which can involve going to here as well. What's the downside of that? I don't see much problems even there for the opponent. So giving a check with knight, which looks obvious, doesn't make sense straight away. If I give a check with my queen, uh, opponent can still move up as well. And then I don't have a continuation to it. Okay, so finding a good continuation is important. Knight check, lots of options for the kings to go away. So it should not be problematic. Can we force double attack on this piece? And oh, wait a second, there's a folk coming uh, as well. Uh, is there a way I can folk? I think going for a folk makes sense. Queen check, of course the opponent runs away and then I don't have a follow up. My queen is under attack as well. This check again, I'll allows this as well eventually and there is no follow from there if opponent just moves away then then where i am doing a follow-up for that so i think this should be fine yes and now uh, i have a choice which piece i take if i take the rook queen gets saved and it comes with the check if i move up uh then another check can come if i take Okay, so if I take the queen, of course, it is a check as well. So opponent can take back. And that should be fine because we are winning the queen at least. But open will have a lot of compensation if you see. There are four pieces involved. But I think still queen can be a winner there. Let's just calculate this once. If I take the rook first, opponent takes. Uh, it's a check. I can move to either this square or here, couple of squares. Going back can be problematic, of course, later on. But going up doesn't make a problem. If I check again, I can just escape. So I get a rook for basically nothing. Or I get a queen and lose the knight as well. Uh, okay, so that's not a problem because after this trade happens, we have a check coming from queen b2, which wins the rook as well on the spot. So knight takes is better. Yes, because if now opponent does take with the rook, you give a check and you win the rook as well. Or if opponent goes here, then you can save at least, you can cancel quickly. You can follow up with checks as well. All right, good start to the puzzles. Okay, uh, we are threatening everything with <laughs> on the square b2 but it's well defended with couple of pieces i can take this rook for free but then my queen is lost um if i take with the queen first then i lose my queen and then we trade off the rooks as well and then i don't get anything but opponent wins uh, has the rook and this pawn will be promoted to other way of continuing this can be first if I... Okay, wait a second. I can give a check with the knight as well, which forces my opponent to go there. Uh, but then what is the continuation? Oh, so knight can give a check. The only move is for the king to move to a1, and then this is mate. Looks pretty clear now. Check and mate. Yep. That was a nice puzzle again. 2050 now. Feels good to be back to a certain extent. I think rating earlier has gone to 2200 if I'm not wrong. 
so still far from the very best but yeah let's continue so this is hunting down queen is being attacked queen is controlling the last rank i can take this pawn with a check opponent moves up and then maybe i can get my queen here and give a check yes and then the only option is either to put the bishop in between and i can play pawn forward eventually or i can even try, follow up with a checkmate from e4 or you know it would be a checkmate from b4 i think so rook takes first makes a lot of sense to me queen cannot give any other check straight away and i cannot win the pieces because they are connected everything is defended apart from this pawn here so trying to find out soft targets and i think this should be one of the targets yes and now uh, rook the king comes here uh if i give a check bishop comes in between i can take the bishop and that should be very close to mating so queen coming here is the only option because if even the opponent takes you can mate in the next move and that's why the solution is correct crossing 2050 uh 2062 now okay two three puzzles we solved as of now correct okay so pawn takes and now uh there is this wonderful diagonal for the queen uh there is a discovered check coming from anywhere i move my knight i can take this as well it would be a discovered check but then of course opponent can uh take back as well with the king if i just take this okay let's if i take uh opponent takes with the king of course king has to move it's a check uh king takes and then is there a follow-up of a check that can I, I can make this queen is nicely on place on a diagonal but it cannot come here because of the pawn standing it cannot come here because of again the pawn standing so not really a good place to be in with the queen there i can of course stop this that should that is not a problem um any other thread that I can make? I think has to start with a discovered check itself. Now to take the bishop, to take the pawn, or just to sidestep. If I sidestep, I am giving a check. I am controlling this square. I am controlling this. Everything in the vertex in the file for sure. Uh, this is already controlled. The opponent goes back. If the opponent goes back, then I. Do I, what do I have? Maybe knight coming back in, but then opponent takes, I take, or maybe I take with the queen, but the opponent will be on the corner, and the rook can always come in between and stop the check. Maybe I can then take the pawn as well. Hmm, that sounds interesting. So knight here uh, is a check, which leads to opponent going probably to one of these squares. Sorry for that, and mute my phone so if i go over to e5 opponent has a couple of squares to go to and either doesn't look me very problematic for the opponent if i take the pawn let's just say i take the pawn then again opponent takes i cannot i don't control this square but maybe i can then give a check with my rook and opponent takes and then i take with the queen ending up in a checkmate of course all that computation works if opponent does take if doesn't take opponent can go back uh, in that case i think i can take the bishop maybe I'm not sure so the idea is to sack a piece eventually on g6 which should be the rook coming with a check maybe i should take the pawn with the knight i am not seeing anything else because my queen is also under attack oh wait a second because if it's not a check then definitely my queen is gone so i have to give a check which means i have to move the knight so there are three options again which one looks more compelling more problematic for the opponent let's just say i go here uh, and opponent moves over to one of these squares 
then I can probably get my, I have to follow up with the check. That's the whole problem. Uh, in the diagonal night cannot cover the check for sure. If I'm here, then probably I can take the pawn or give a check from here as well, then take, get my queen. Takes the pawn can be wrong. I'm not sure it is wrong. Okay. Um, what is the solution to take the bishop? Uh, and then if opponent takes, what is the follow up here? It's a mating to oh, with the same idea that rook comes in between and then has to take and that's compelling moves eventually. So I have to take the bishop instead. Okay, first close. Anyway, next one. I it, This looks very tempting to sack the rook. Uh, but point is this rook, other rook is also defending it. Uh, there is a fork which looks pretty nice. Should be fine. There is this pawn forward as well. Threatening to maybe go one step further, but the fork looks immediate. How is the opponent saving both the pieces by just cannot come with the rook here? So either saves the rook or the bishop. Bishop, of course, cannot defend unless the bishop goes back. Still, it's a fork. So I think fork should be the solution to this. Yes, and now I'm threatening this, but my pawn is also being attacked. So can I, what are the danger levels here? Because maybe now I can push the pawn first. Uh, can I push the pawn? This is fine so far. What if I just take? Opponent takes with a check. I move up. Another check comes in. I move up. There's no problems. If I... That's it. I can escape eventually to a safer square with my king. So taking the bishop looks like a free bishop. But is there something more compelling than taking that bishop is the question. Maybe I can just uh, put pawn forward, which threatens that I can take the rook, the pawn next with my rook. I'm still attacking the bishop. Uh, the pressure maintains and then maybe I can push or maybe I can just take the pawn next. It looks fine to me if I just play pawn forward. I can take the bishop later as well. But if I take the bishop first, I lose a pawn. There's some attack which is going to come. Of course, I'll move up. If I move up, actually, there's no threats because open cannot give a check from here. My knight would be controlling the square, f6. So after open takes the pawn, the only threat is once I move up, there's only open can take this pawn again and then try to have some counterplay on the other side of the board. But I'll have an extra piece and that should be OK. Uh, also, after I take this, I have a fork coming, which should win me some more material. I think bishop takes is more sense. Yes, it is. It's fine. All right. Let's come back. OK, I think. Very much pawn forward looks the, a good move to begin with because it defends the bish, uh, the knight. It gives a check. Uh, opponent cannot take. And so there are, I think, two options. We have to choose which one is better. Rook to d7 also is a check which defends. And opponent will have to move the, uh, the king. And the only square I see for the king is here. And then maybe I can give another check and that looks like a compelling checkmate eventually. Okay. This makes more sense because opponent has the queen uh, and we are down material and the best way to win game from a, that situation is to checkmate itself, not win material. So a check here would mean opponent can escape here. And then if I give a check, then again, opponent can go back up and can escape. Yes, because if pawn moves forward, this gives uh, the opponent one move here. And then if I just give a check, opponent can escape. Don't let the king escape. So if I give a check first from d7, uh, all these squares are covered. This is covered with the knight. Knight is covering these two squares. The rook will control this. The pawn is already controlling this. The only option is to go back. 
and then we push with the bishop and that's a beautiful checkmate because only bishop the pawn can come in between and, and we take that as well so rook should be more compelling yes it is everything is defended and i think this should be the winning move yes pawn comes in between and we calculated this perfectly very nice i hope uh, we should continue this for the next time until then please do take care and if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel as well and i, sh I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for watching take care bye bye